Hey friends, it's Jeff Heath. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today, we are talking about the Luminate 4 foot RGB LED tube. Stay tuned. Well, short of these being a lightsaber, are they any good? Well, we're gonna talk about that today. This was a Kickstarter or Indiegogo campaign that I supported. I love tubes like these, like the Astera Titan tubes or the Astera ATX ones, uh, all those kind of companies that make these kind of RGB app controlled tubes. So when I saw these advertised on Indiegogo, I wanted to have them. And for me, they seemed a little bit steep in price, but compared to the Astera tubes, they seem like a pretty good deal. These lights claim to be RGBW, which means red, green, blue, white. With those three colors, red, green, and blue, you can make every color in the spectrum. And so what these lights do is they mix those colors in order to give you the full spectrum of color. And so they claim to be RGBW, they are app controlled, Bluetooth, USB-C charged, uh, remote controlled, and waterproof up to a meter and a half under water. So here are the things that I do love about this light. It does work. The app pairs to it super quickly and really easily and is almost instantaneous. As soon as you choose the color that you want on the app, the light changes to that color. Turn your Bluetooth on, find the lights within the app. Uh, I've marked them one, two, three, four on my app just so I know what they are, and I've labeled all my lights one, two, three, four so I can control each light individually or as a group. You can pair them in as a group together. I'm not gonna go into details about how to do all that. They have it on their website how to do it. Uh, and when you get the lights, they show you how to do it as well. Uh, but just so I can show you, so I'm gonna play with some of the lights here. We're gonna add some colors. So turn one green there, which is pretty cool. Uh, let's go for a blue on this one. Let's go for a red on this one. And then we'll go to a yellow on this one or an orange, let's do that. So as you can see, we've got a nice little rainbow color there in the background. Everything is immediate. Uh, everything it changes as soon as you do it so you can brighten lights up a little bit. So I just turn that yellow back up a little bit. Uh, I'll turn this one up right away. It just changes. It changes immediately as soon as you're doing it, which is great. Uh, you can go into your group setting as well. So now I'm controlling all four of my lights. So now when I click this, all the lights will turn green just like that. Purple, blue, red, teal, all those kinds of things. You can turn the brightness all, you can turn the brightness all the way up. You can turn it all the way down. Uh, you can turn the saturation up uh, and the saturation down as well and up. Uh, so that all changes as you're doing it. You can also do scenes as well. So if you had different scenes you wanted to have, let's say like right now, we wanted a police scene. I've pre-programmed inside of the app to have two different colors flashing at a high rate of speed. So when you have a police scene, let's say you can set those up for anything. I can add more colors so we can add some green in there. So now it's going to flash with some green. Uh, you know, you can keep on going, keep on adding some colors. Why the heck not? Okay, so all those kind of things, it happens immediately as soon as I submit that. Now the colors are changing almost immediately, which is awesome. Right back to where we were with our colors. So everything works seamlessly for me on the app. Uh, you can do it with the little remote as well, but you have less control with the remote. And again, the remote only works when the lights are powered up once but then it controls power on, power off. They are four feet. They are super bright. I've used these lights since I got them in interviews where all I'm using is these lights. They work great. They come with a little control arm holder as well and a nice little carrying case. They charge super fast. They hold charge for a very long time and they are waterproof. These are all great things. Now, these lights don't come without some controversy. I've been trying to do a little research on what other people have been saying about these lights, and so far the reviews haven't been great. The biggest complaint that people have had is the lack of communication from 
Luminate. I'm not sure why this is happening. I've had great communication with them over Instagram, uh, as well as through email. They came very quickly once I ordered them. They did come from China. They were packaged well, they were packaged in nice big tubes, and they came in their own padded cases. Every experience I have had with this company has been good so far. That being said, are they worth $250 each when you compare them to other companies that are doing very similar things? And the answer to that is maybe. I haven't had them long enough to say how long they're gonna last, but a few things that I have noticed about them that show the build quality isn't as great as other products like this that I've used, first of all, is they claim to be waterproof. Um, yes, that's true. They have little O-rings that go and screw into the bottoms of them, which would seal them from water getting in. However, if you unscrew them a little bit, the pressure on that O-ring gets a little loose and the whole top of the cap can actually move a little bit, which I think would you know, ruin the integrity of the seal of these lights. Will I use them out in the rain? Yeah, I think they would be great out in the rain as long as the caps are screwed on. Would I put them underwater like they claim they can go? I think you're asking for trouble if you want that as well. Secondly, they come with these little stands to prop the lights up vertically. These stands are way too small to hold these lights up vertically, and some of them don't even stand up vertically, they're on a little bit of an angle. If again, if you use the Astera Titan tubes or the Astera ATX-1s, you know that the stands are about six inches on the legs all the way around in a little bit of a triangle. These have the same idea, but they're only two inches long, so any slight breeze or a little bit of wind is gonna knock these lights over. Thankfully, they are like pretty durable, pretty, resilient in regards to the plastic and the things that they're made of. But again, not that great in regards to the stands. As well as the little gooseneck arms that they come with to hold the lights, they can't support the weight of the lights. They will move around, you can move them around, like that, but they, if you try to position them up, they'll just flop back down again. So the goosenecks aren't great, uh, but you know they hold the lights as long as you have a C-stand or some kind of stand to move things around. That's the way I would do it and I wouldn't rely on the gooseneck to position the lights the way you wanna go. Just lock them into something and move them with the stand rather than the gooseneck. So in regards to the people's complaints about the company not communicating with them or the things arriving late or different things, with the Kickstarter, with an Indiegogo, my expectation is that things don't always go as planned, particularly when it comes to production or producing a product. The few things that I have bought have always been delayed in regards to production because a lot of things go into making these things on Kickstarter. That's why people do it on Kickstarter or Indiegogo because there's a lot of unknowns and they're usually working out after they get the funding. So Luminate, I don't totally fault you about that because I know there's a lot going on. The one thing that I have seen which I think is a little bit shady is that people have pointed out that this is uh, a company out of China that has looked to get a market out here in North America. They just rebranded as Luminate. Uh, I forget what the company's called online, but essentially it's just a separate company that's now rebranded. Redid a Kickstarter, redid an Indiegogo. So it is not a unique product. It is not an innovative product in regards to like they designed this. They're essentially reselling through Kickstarter Indiegogo. So as long as you know that, then you're getting what you want. And do they work? Yes. Do they give you all the colors you want? Yes. Are they bright? Yes. Are they waterproof? Maybe. Are they built okay? They're okay. They're not amazing. But for what they are, they work. They do the job. 250 bucks for one seems a little steep to me compared to other companies like Yongo who make things cheaper uh, and just as the same build or better quality. Uh, but I do love the charge time, how long they last. I love how bright they are. I love how easy it is to control with the app and they've worked every single time for me. But again, longevity is what I'm looking at in regards to my equipment. Do I think these will last? Uh, that has yet to be seen, but I've seen better products that I think would last longer than these. We'll see how it goes. That's my review, friends. Hope it was helpful. Love that you are here watching this channel. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe, add a comment, ask some questions if I haven't covered anything. Thanks so much for watching. We will catch you later. Mm.